Well, it's uh, Monday morning, and I'm going to work for a couple hours <clears throat> on this uh, Jim Bridger piece, and it's only because there's a few things that I saw in the video that I shot uh, and uh, put together last week um, of the entire uh, process of coming up with the idea for the piece and then to the uh, sculpting of it. And uh, so I've got a couple of little holes that I need to fill, and I'm going to do that today. So let's get busy. Time to play with some clay. All right, what I've done is I've uh, put uh, fondue sticks into areas that I have to, you know, wanted to remind myself where I wanted to do some uh, repair. And I got one there, 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 and there. And uh, that's about all I could find. Um, yeah. So let's get started on his ear. I did. I just stuck those ears on, so I have to actually sculpt them. And uh, that was just to remind me to sculpt them. I got this song going through my head right now. I don't know why it's called, or at least it, it the words Rose of Alabama. <laughs> I was in Mobile, Alabama about 1968 or around there. I think I don't know. I can't remember exactly. My uh, ship, the Lexington was, uh, there for repair of a reduction gear and uh, we were there for a couple months some really nice people down there memorable all right i don't know why I suddenly thought of that but I thought i'd pass it on okay i'm gonna get back to doing what i do best and that's playing with clay. Now these reins are made out of uh, monster clay, of course, but uh, they'll be made out of uh, flattened bronze wire, which will be soldered onto the piece so that uh, they don't cast them. They uh, just reproduce them with wire. Rose of Alabama. I wish I could remember the name of the movie that it was from. I know it's hard to see what I'm doing because a lot of it's in the shadows and underneath. And I apologize, but uh, these are things that have to be touched up because if you don't touch them up now, you'll regret that you didn't once it's in bronze. Another little reminder here. It was a little too deep right here, so I'm going to fill that in.
All right, I'm just finishing up the little things here. It's amazing how much you can find when you chip the clay up, put it in a different position. All right, I took the bedroll off. I've got to make it look like uh, buffalo fur under the uh, skin itself. And that's uh, what I'm doing here. I'm also adding some detail into the uh, buffalo robe, our bearskin robe bedroll. Okay, I'm going to put some stress wrinkles in the uh, blanket where it's tied. I want to put a little texture in here. I've got this uh, wire tool with a serrated edge on one side, and that will give me texture. easier to do that here than on the horse. All right, now to place it back onto the uh, sculpture. Yeah, that's better. Gives it some character now. I don't know what day we're going to be taking this to the foundry going to be sometime this week. We got quite a bit of snow yesterday, so the uh, pass that we have to go over east of Bozeman is going to be probably snow packed and we want to let it give it a couple of days for the sun to do its work. Uh, in Montana, snow disappears off a uh, pavement real fast and uh, we're kind of hoping that happens in this case. Um, so we're just going to play it by ear and I want to set this aside until I take it to the foundry. All right, I got to put the tie for the robe on. That's going to just be wire that they will, uh, attached to the uh, bronze. OK. 
Okay. Now I'm going to go over it one more time with lighter food. Well, as I finish this up, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, and I don't know when I'll be doing it. But I will take you on the trip to uh, Livingston to deliver this uh, to the uh, foundry uh, whenever we do that this week. Don't think there's much else I can do on this piece. It's done. Well, until next time, <clears throat> good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.